you know this man, Scott Brash, winner of Saint Tropez 2023. I just gave him a, a semi hug, a bit of a high five. This is so wet. How much champagne did you get? You were right in the middle of it, weren't you? I definitely got the worst of it. Though, you yeah. did get the worst of it. <laughs> well, you weren't running away? You were not quick enough? What happened? Because it wasn't quick enough up there. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be a lot quicker. Come on, come on. Listen, your, your teammate Spencer Smith will come join us in a few moments' time. Let's jump in with you. Your timing that's here in front of me, 62.95. Now, you've never been a man who's had difficulty in being quick in the ring, but did you realize how quick you needed to go, how much you had to push to then get over the line? Well, I knew... Um, Paris were quick and we knew, I knew that but I, I watched Spence go, saw his time and thought if I can be in and around there would be would be useful and uh, yeah just try to, to target that really. Well here is the man that kind of set it up. Congratulations brother. Well Thank done, well done. Right. Come take a seat. Thank Are you, you. as Hey, you're all right. Yeah, not as no, bad right. as him, him. You managed to right. avoid <laughs> some of it. <laughs> we, we just started talking about time and your teammates <laughs> <laughs> your teammate gave you all the praise saying that for you to come out and get that 63-68, really set it up. Talk to me about what was the discussion in the end gates. What were you guys talking about? How aggressive did you feel you had to be to get over the line? I think uh, like Frank did such a good job in the first round, put us in a good position, and then he was there in the end gate, and I knew we had to be quick. I was following a little bit, and I was going to go a little bit anyway. I think it's good for my horse, so just did our thing and it kind of worked out, yeah. There has always been so much talk about New York Empire being the nearly their team and we've been waiting a long time to see another victory for New York Empire. Firstly, talk to me about the length and the duration that's taken you to finally get here and then what does that make this mean to finally get over the line again, Scott? Yeah, it's a long time overdue and uh, yeah, delighted for the whole team, you know, because everyone puts in a lot of hard work and Georgina's been a big supporter of, of the league for many years, so yeah, it's great to deliver for her today and, and hope it may continue. Some reaction on Georgina, just the role she plays, what she brings to the team. What, what is the Georgina effect on New York Empire? I mean, Georgina is the biggest part of our whole team. You know, we're obviously New York Empire for her home uh, town. She's also riding on the team. Her, our last win was with her on the team, and she's the one that clutched the win for us there. And, uh, you know, she's like kind of the captain and oh, she's just a super person. She adds a lot to it. Now, Spence, you didn't jump both rounds. You did, Scott. I want to find out from you. There was a lot of talk around what Gregory Bordeaux would do in round one and round two. Round one and round two, did they jump as it walked? Or do you feel there was perhaps a surprise there? Yeah, I, th I thought, of course, Billy done a very good job. First round, maybe a, a hold down to the second round. The second round was harder. I thought both rounds were big, you know. They're, they're big, you know. It's a... Uh, tough jumping out there you know and I think it shows when there's no team on double clear so yeah, there's, there's a lot of effort to do out there and uh, the horses have been brilliant today. Is that indicative Spencer of when you have a winning team that is not on double clear of course doesn't have to happen every weekend but if there is not a single team that produces the double clear does it talk about how tricky a ring it is you guys are jumping? For, yeah for sure I think that Gregory Bodo he's a super course designer he's one of my favorites and he, he has great faults, always all over the course, very light faults, super careful, really modern jumping. He's one of my favorites, actually. I think he does a good job. What about the slope, Scott? Everyone spoke about the slope. We, we did some mathematics. We did the calculation. Apparently, it's the, the most significant slope of the year, of the calendar year. Did you feel that it came into play? Did he play with that? Uh, I'm sure he plays with that. He plays with everything. You know, he's very smart and uh, tries to trick us out. I, to be honest, I don't really feel the slope there, you know. Uh, there's some other arenas, Hicksteads, quite a big slope. That plays quite a big part, for example. But I didn't totally feel that today. But it's a delicate ring. There's a lot going on, so there's a lot of atmosphere for the horses. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky out there. What about the next couple of weeks, Spencer? We have a really busy summer coming up now. In fact, it's, it's five in a row. So this really is a, a platform for any team that wants to take a leap, wants to take a jump. Are there discussions over the next month already? Is it stage by stage? How does New York generally plan? We have our plan well into Riesenbeck, I think. And, uh, you know, we've got great riders, great horses going to all the next shows. We're going to keep doing what we can do and hopefully get a little leg up now and a little momentum after this. How much similarity is there between what you experience in saint -Tropez and what will come in come the following week? Will both of you be jumping next weekend? I'm actually not. I'm on Nations Cup duty, but um, yeah, it's a similar type yeah, of Yeah, I of wonder arena. what can you take out so, of this, yeah, maybe? Yeah, you can take a lot, and uh, Spence and Frank are going on, so they're in great form. So, um, yeah, and I think Dennis joins them, so I think, uh, yeah, fingers crossed for Can as well. Let me pose it to you, then. What can you take out of saint play that you can that you can learn from, you can borrow, you can utilize yeah. in Cannes? I think historically, if you go well here, you 
often go well in Cannes and just the same in Paris and Monaco. There are very similar atmospheres, same size ring, warm up, all that, climate. Um, I think I wouldn't change much if it's going well this week, just keep going to the next one. So back to back for New York Empire? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Right. Yeah. Speaking about the round, speaking about the riders and the performance that show you New York Empire, their winning round powered by Lugano Diamonds, your 2023 Saint Tropez champions.